So I just wanted to update you on what I've done so far and kind of how this looks. If you take a look at this, this is the main beam, which is kind of moving as I want it to with the design here. I'm shifting around a little bit. But um, <clears throat> you see that these little leaflet guys keep coming out and then they eventually end, like there's an end of one and an end of one, oh, one over here. Um, they don't have to be, they don't have to end exactly as they're same as their pair does, but you get an idea. Uh, but I, what I want to show you here is, uh, first off, how it gets gappy in the center. That's where you want to start another leaflet. Okay, So these guys fade out. It keeps growing from the center and going out, basically. And uh, as I come up here and I'm getting close to these uh, tie wraps or zip ties, then I'll get rid of those because I don't need them anymore. So I've already taken one of them off. But So that's just your quick update and I'm just kind of keep doing this till about right about right here I think and then I'll just bring all of them together uh, and you, you actually you wouldn't have to do that but in this case I'm gonna okay so I am about halfway done with my weave from this end in so now I'm gonna switch it and I'm gonna start down here and then I'm gonna meet up with what I've got so I'm gonna have that same center rib but then I'm gonna do my little leaflets coming out, and then I'm gonna, at this point what I'll do is I'll merge them together. But I'm gonna, uh, instead of trying to keep weaving, keep it balanced from one, one side, I'm gonna start from about the halfway point, I'm gonna start from the opposite end and then move up again. So, okay, so I'm gonna start off on this um, opposite side. Once again, it's just a figure eight. <clears throat> I'm going to keep it tight, and more than likely for the first uh, six or eight rows, you won't be able to do a double wrap. But all you're trying to do at this point is get some space or get some weave so that this guy can be stuck in there. And that's your center. Uh, center rib from the other side. Not the leaflets, the center guy. Okay, so this is getting a little gappy, so then I'm going to start doing a double on that side. I don't think I need to do it on this side. I'm always trying to even it up, so I might have to do a double on this side and then just a single on the other side because it's not, you know, symmetrical. So you got to work with what you got. All right, so I'm going to see if I can't get that center rib in here. So I'm going to bring this down. I kind of want it right there. So it's always better to cut it a little long and trim it up and cut it too short and try to get it to grow. It doesn't work that way. So I'm going to stick that in there like that. It is just a little bit too long. So I'm going to trim it up a little bit. Try it again. That works better for me. So, so you can see the whole thing here. Okay. It's hard to get it because it's long. So now I'm going to, uh, this is a just a new obstacle and, and the same over and under from rim to rim. These are my rims. And then I will start adding little leaflets again. So I'm going to put at least a couple rows in here. And once again, if you can't get it tight, use that weave right tool. And uh, on this side, I'm going to keep doing those double wraps and singles on the opposite side. I think. Um, maybe not. I don't like it gappy, so if it starts getting gappy, I do a double wrap. Remember, I'm going to add my little leaflet ribs from the center out. And I think I can probably get away with adding some leaflets or side ribs. I kind of like all the leaflets since it's a leaf. All right, so once again, I'm going to use the whatever way it's bowing to my advantage. So I want it coming off 
that and head it out. So I'm just going to use that. And I'll put that one there. And I'll turn this one. Trim that up a little bit. I can probably get this in here, but I want to show you. This is why I have you all. Open that space up a little bit. And then that sticks in there real nice. Cut edge next to the existing rib. Goes in there nicer. I have no idea why. And then you have, actually in this one, instead of splitting it automatically, I think I want to come over here and then I'll uh, change to black. Or, actually I think I'll stick with this green for a while. That's the nice thing about doing this. You can do whatever you want. Stick with the green, change to the black. It's all good in the hood. All right. So then I'm going to treat these like I didn't add them for just one more row. And what that does is it anchors the tips before I start separating them. So now, here we go. So when you separate, you always have to make sure, or when you add, that you've added in an even amount. doesn't matter if you have an add amount. It matters if you add in an even amount because the weave will be off the weave until it meets its partner and then it will be back on. So, and in this case, it's pretty easy to do because you're always adding two to what you've got. But if you look at this, you've got one, two, three ribs, right? So you think, well, that's not even. No, it's what you add. You always add an even amount. So I'm just going to continue this for a while and then I'll do a piece of black to separate it once again and then I'll change my color. And as it gets gappy here in the center, I, you know, I mean I know this is narrower and it gets larger here, but you can tell it'll start getting gappy in here. And so I never say there's a set amount of uh, weave that you need to do before uh, you add because it depends on the width of the platter. Um, so um, the best thing I can say is the center spot in here, because you keep pulling these out, is going to get gappy. Like here, see how that's gappy? I put two fingers in there, then I probably need to add another one. So when I get working on the side, I'll do that just so you get a better idea what I mean when I say it gets gappy. If you were making a rib constructed basket, it would be the two finger rule. If you got two fingers between stakes, then it's time to add ribs. But because this is kind of stretching the limits, you gotta make your own rules. All right, so I'm gonna do this for a while longer and then I'm gonna change to black and as I come up here, I'm going to show you how I'm going to combine these. Okay, so I am starting to put these together. And what I do is I kind of, as they, as they match up, basically, or as I can insert them, that's what I do. Like right down here, these two are kind of short. This one's going to end up going over here, I think. But as I bring, as I weave this stuff up and I can tuck them in, and then that's what I'm going to do. So that one's here is going to be a little short. But remember, when you do this, you want to add it in twos. So like this one could fit in there now, so I tuck that in there. This one could fit in there now, so I've got one, two, three, four new ones that I just put in. So you want to keep whatever you're adding even, or it'll throw off your weave. All right, so I'm just going to go back through here. And once again, instead of separating them right off the bat, I'm going to treat them like I didn't just add them. This guy is going to kind of branch out here, I think. And that's the thing about this. You don't know exactly what you're doing. You just kind of wing it. And that's okay. It makes for a nice relaxing basket when there isn't a lot of rules to it. So anyways, I'm going to come back here for two. And then actually I'm going to change my color to uh, black. And then I'll separate those um, these new guys that I put in with that, the black. But, so you get an idea of how I'm starting to incorporate these guys together.